Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Lisa Vision One Love and I have the privilege of being here with you. We're talking about creating a vision, to live a vision driven life, to take the full responsibility of our lives because that's the key to happiness and success. We are the ones who create our lives. Life doesn't happen to us, it happens through us. And by taking responsibility for everything that happens in our lives, we live a vision driven life and create it by design instead of by default. And we just allow the circumstances on the outside to dictate how to live. We've been going through a lot of steps and keys and tools and if you're really serious about having the life you really, really love, I encourage you to look at the other videos uh, that I made before, step 1 to 4, this is step 5. And if any of these videos have been of any value to you, I, I appreciate if you share it to your friends so they can live a life they truly love as well. Today I'm going to give you three tools on how to actually get to the vision. So let's start. First of all, we have to act as if the dream is already here. With me personally, I printed my business cards a year before I actually had my business. I printed Reiki Master and Life Coach and I had no idea how to get there. But that was my dream, that was my vision. So I'm, I made 400 business cards with my logo and I didn't have a business, I didn't have anything. But this is how universe works. If we make our dream welcome, we allow it to come to us. We decide we're already there. We act as if we're already there. Then the universe starts to work with us. So, here I am. I'm a Reiki master and I'm a life coach. And I love my life. Uh, and to get there also, we have to... One tool is to... When we get to... our When we go to our, our vision on the high vibration of gratitude and get inside there and feel the life and feel the love. There, from there we ask the questions. What can I do? We never ask how. How goes down to the logic part. How can I do this? And then we start to look for circumstances, conditions, situations. We never, never ask questions from there. We can never solve a problem from the frequency where the problem was created. So we always go to the vision, to gratitude, to high vibration, high f frequency first. And from there we ask questions. What can I do today to get to my vision? And we step into it, as I spoke earlier, fully. Who am I in my vision? What clothes am I wearing? And from here we also ask, what can I do today? If it's only five minutes, maybe I can Google something. And also the quality of the questions. Einstein, he said that if he had to uh, solve a problem that was a matter of life and death, he would spend 55, if he had only one hour, he would spend 55 minutes of finding out the right question. Because when you get, when he got the right question, it would take him only five minutes to get the answer. So all the answers are out there. It's just a matter of from which frequency we ask the questions and what kind of questions we ask. If you want to go on holiday to France, for instance, and you think, oh my god, how am I going to do this? How am my boss going to give me time off? Uh, where do I get the money? Oh, how am I going to do this? It's a very low frequency, a very low vibration. If you instead ask yourself, you look at the vision, you're in France already, you see how wonderful time you have there, and then you ask a question like, how can I go to France? and make $10,000 while I'm there? That's a completely different question with a completely different, completely different vibration and that will give you completely different answers. And another tool is to actually, when you get the answers, you have to listen because that's when the intuition starts working with the infinite universe. You listen to all the answers coming and you don't judge them or anything like this allow all answers, even if they're stupid, even if they say, uh, it's, even if one idea is to, to, to start working at McDonald's, and you feel like, McDonald's, why on earth would that help me? 
you write it down. You write down all answers, all ideas coming to you on a piece of paper. All of them. 40 of them. Spend 20 minutes just listening. After asking the question, being in the vibration, being in your, in your vision. You write them all down. Then you circulate the ones that stick out of the paper, the ones that have highest energy, the ones that's charged. Maybe they're even scary for you. Like, oh my god, perfect. Circulate that one. And after you chose the ones that is high vibration and energetic for you, you make them in a specific order. Number one, two, three, and so on. And then the last two, do it. By when are you going to actually do it? And then we use the calendar. Once I was going to have my uh, first workshop and I was terrified. I didn't even want to talk in front of one person. And uh, But I wrote in my calendar a date when I was going to have my first workshop. And just by writing it in my calendar, things started happening. I got ideas. I noticed uh, things on uh, Facebook or uh, when I Google something, it's like, oh, I can go here, I can go there, and there. it's a conference there. And all these ideas came to me and I started preparing myself because this is what happens when we use the calendar. By when are you going to do it? The transformation is in the action. Nothing happens without us taking action. But the action, the, the way we act comes from how we think about it first. First we think, then it becomes an emotion. The emotion is the vibration. And from the vibration of the frequency we're in, that's when we have the actions. So it's important to be on a high frequency with a high vibration in the vision already. And from there, what can you do? And do it. So after just a few days with all these new ideas coming to me, after I put the date in the calendar, it felt like, what's the problem? I can speak in front of a hundred people. This is my soul's purpose. This is why I'm here. I'm a teacher. There was no problem at all. From just a few days earlier, I was terrified. I was like, no, 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 no. Speaking in front of one person would have been terrif terrifying. So, with all these tools now that you have, I will just check if I have something else I want to talk about. Yeah, about acting and believing also. A lot of people, they don't dare to look inside what they actually believe. So it's a lot about awareness. What are you thinking, actually? Do you believe you can have your vision? Honestly. That's a very important part of it as well. So look into it. Raise your awareness. Pay attention. Notice what you're noticing. Notice how you think about things. And if you get a bad or negative or contracted emotion, Make a pause, because there was something in your head first. Everything is created twice. First in the head, as in a thought or an idea, and then it became a thing. And everything is here already. We had access to building aircrafts forever. It's always been here. It just took one person to get access, to have the idea, I want to create an airplane, I want to fly. Everyone else was like, yeah, right, how are you going to do that? It's impossible. Nothing is impossible. And everything we can imagine and think now is here already. Just have to ask the right questions. And we have to believe it. Let's be persistent. We write it in the calendar and we do it. What step can I take today? We need help from the higher power because we have no idea. But when we listen, start listening in by asking the right questions, we get all the answers we need. And step by step, new things will unfold. We we'll welcome our dream. We can never get to our dream. We have to come from it. We become this person. We have to be willing to be who we are in the dream. Thank you so much. It's your life. Make it a great one. All my love to you. Mm -hmm.